Ni bosh mara. How a man take a bu quickly, we lay for school. Ah, that knock tomorrow. That carries two pond, gee cheap. Hello everyone, this is Billy. Today I'm going to talk about Sunderland dialect words. The Sunderland dialect is also one of the most popular dialects in Northeast England and it is also called Macam. Some people confuse Macam with Geordie, but they are totally different. And before taking a look at some Macam words, you should remember that Sunderland is also called Sunlin by local people. Then let's take a look at some Sunlin dialect words. The first one is Mara. Can you guess what it means? In Sunderland, Mara means mate. So when people from Sunderland talk about their Mara, they are talking about their mate. Also with the word Mara, people often say Ni Bosh Mara, and that means no problem mate. Then let's take a look at an example sentence. No problem mate. Ni Bosh Mara. No problem mate. Ni Bosh Mara. The next one is Hawe. I think you've seen this kind of word, right? In Makam, Hawe means come on. And don't be confused with Geordie. In Geordie, it's H O W A Y, while it's H A W A Y in Makam. So when a Makam says like Hawe man, that means come on or hurry up. The next words are buke and school. These words look a bit strange, right? In Makam, buke is book and school is school. That's because of the Makam accent, so in Makam, double O sounds like U. Also with the Makam accent, make becomes mak and take becomes tak. Then let's take a look at an example sentence. Come on, take a book quickly, we leave for school. How are man, take a book quickly, we leave for school. Come on, take a book quickly, we leave for school. How are man, take a book quickly, we leave for school. The next one is nak. You might think of a skill when you hear this word, but in Makam, nak means hurt. So when you want to say that you feel pain in Makam, you can use this word nak. For example, Oh, that hurt mate. Ah, that nak tamara. Oh, that hurt mate. Ah, that nak tamara. The next one is pund. You could probably guess what it means because it looks quite similar to the original word. In Makam, pund means pound. So when people in Sunderland say that something is five pund, that means it's five pound. The last one is geet. Can you guess what it means? You could think that this word means something negative, but it's not a negative word. In Makam, git means very. So when you want to emphasize what you say in Sunland, you can use this word git. Then let's take a look at an example sentence. That carries two pound, it's very cheap. That carries two pound, git cheap. That carries two pound, it's very cheap. That carries two pound, git cheap. Now we know some Sunland dialect words. I know my Makam accent is not perfect, but I hope this one helps you to understand some Makam. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!